Hello and welcome to this tutorial on setting up chart boost for the Android side of your Cocos project using the Sonar Cocos Helper. If you haven't done already, you need to have completed the getting started video for the Sonar Cocos Helper. And if you have completed that, you should have this external uh, Cocos Helper Android Frameworks folder. Uh, if you haven't done the video, I'll leave a link to in the description for the video. And if you don't have these folders, again, I'll leave a link for the, the both zip files in the description. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Chart Boost and sign in. And you're going to click on Add App. And I'm going to select the platform as Google Play and give it a nickname. So I'm just going to call this Chart Boost Android Test. And if you've got a app bundle ID, you can put it in but and import your app, but I haven't uh, got one, so I'm not going to bother with that. And my orientation I'm going to have is portrait, and I'm going to enable test mode. But again, obviously remember to disable test mode when you uh, publish your app. And I'm going to click save. And what that's done, it's generated me an app ID and an app signature. So I'm going to minimize this and I've already got Eclipse open with my tutorial and project which is just a blank project uh, when you, that you get when you create a project in Cocos. And I'm going to go to the resources folder and then the values and then Sonar Framework settings. And if you scroll down to where you've got the chart boost uh, tags you can see a string for the ID and signature, so I'm going to copy and paste them in. So the app ID, and the app ID, and make sure there's no white space at the end, and the app signature in the app signature. And I'm going to save that file. Okay. I'm going to minimize that and just click save on this just in case I change anything and it's minimize that. Now I'm going to open up my project folder and the external Cocos Helper Android Frameworks folder. I'm going to go into Frameworks and I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to copy the Chart Boost folder into Project Android Source. Sonar, Systems, Frameworks, and Paste. And I can close these down. Okay, so if I refresh my source folder that has the chart boost. Next, we're going to go into the manifest. And we're going to scroll down. And there's actually nothing you need to do in the manifest for chart boost. So that's great. So you don't actually need to do anything in the manifest. So I'm going to close the manifest and we're going to go to the sonar.systems.framework into the settings, sonar framework settings.java. And we're going to use chart boost is equal to true. And you can see it says it requir requires Google Play Services library and chart boost jar. Now I've lied, we actually do, because it uses the Google Play Services library, we actually do need to do something in the manifest. So if you go to the Google Play Services tags and you just want the bottom meta tag, so if you take this end comment tag and just place it at the end of the Google Play game app ID line and save it and now your manifest, manifest is good to go and so yeah so the first thing we'll do we'll add in the chart boost uh, jar file so if you minimize your project open up your project folder and the external cocos helper folder and if you go into libs there's the uh, chart boost lib jar file that we've um, provided and it's the one that we used when we wrote this so it works but it's always best to use the uh, latest one this is just to make things simpler for you so you can just copy it from there go to your project android folder and then into libs and just paste it in there and then close both folders down 
I'm just going to refresh my project check that's in my libs folder which it is and I'm going to right click on my project go to properties and I'm going to go to java build path and I'm going to add a jar and I'm going to over expand my project uh, go to my libs folder and click on chart boost and then in the order and export just make sure it's ticked and click OK so the next thing we need is the Google Play Services library and if you don't already know how to add this in and how to download it um, I'm about to show you so if you go to your Android SDK manager up here I'm just going to postpone this Android SDK manager up here and if you scroll all the way down you should see this extras folder and in there you'll see the Google Play services so if you haven't already got it if there's no tick next to it tick it uh, sorry if you if it doesn't say not installed if it says not installed then you want to tick it and click install but if you already have it uh, great and that will download to your SDK path which is up here so it will tell you where you've uh, installed your Android uh, SDK and we're going to navigate to that folder now so if you go to file import existing Android code into workspace and then browse to that location that I just showed you uh, yours will be different to mine depending on where you put your uh, Android SDK so there's the SDK folder and now the Google Play Services library will download into the extras folder and then into Google Google Play Services and then you just want to click on lib project and click OK and you can see it's got the right project that we want to import so we click finish and then we just need to link that project to our project so we're going to right click on our project uh, go to the Android tab and click add and you should see this Google Play Services library now I'm going to click OK and then finally if you go to the Java build path we need to add the jar so if you click on add jar Google Play Services library and then in the bin folder there will be the Google Play Services lib jar click OK and again in the order and export, yeah, export just click the tick and click OK and that is everything so the project should build and now I will show you what you can do with chart boost I believe we have video ads and full screen ads so I'm going to go to classes and I'm going to go to hello world scene .cpp. and as always include the uh, sonar frameworks header file and if you want to use the namespace go ahead uh, but I'm not going to in this video and so what we'll do is when the app loads up we will show a full screen ad I think so we'll show, a, we'll show a full screen ad when it loads up and when we click the close button we will show a video ad Okay. Oops. Now, at the moment, I'm not sure whether we've linked the uh, rewards so you can tell whether a video ad has been completed yet. So, showing a video ad might be a bit pointless in this initial release. And on the also on the Android side of things, the show more apps is not implemented. So again that will do nothing if you call these show more apps but the show video ad does show the video but um, there's not a way of knowing because it's a reward video there's not a way of knowing whether it's been shown yet so like whether the user actually finished watching it so once we uh, write that code and put it in you'll have a way of detecting that but for the moment I'll just show you that show video ad works and the main one you'll probably be using is a full screen ad so I'm going to run it and show it on my device and I'll see you on my camcorder.
So I've got the app on my phone, I'm going to launch it and straight away the uh, chart boost test full screen ad comes up as we expected and I'm just going to close the ad and try and touch this button there you go so I touch the button and it says watch a video and earn one coin and if I click the watch button the chart boost video starts to play so yeah, hopefully uh, video ads will be usable really soon, but you have uh, full screen ads using Chartboost, uh, so hopefully this video has helped, and yeah, have a good day.